Okay, now we should have sound and everything, and we'll do this example of stress concentrations when we're looking at torsion. So we have a stepped shaft with an induced torque. The maximum shear stress in the shaft is limited to 8,000 PSI. So this really is our tau max. When the shaft is transmitting a torque of 4.4 kilonewtons, so, or sorry, kip inches, so we have this torque here of 4.4 kip inches, we're supposed to find the minimum fillet radius needed at the junction between the two portions of the shaft. So this is one of those more convoluted problems where we know tau max and we have to find this r and we're going to need to use this table to relate our nominal shear stress to our maximum shear stress and then find out what r is limited to. So let's do that. We're going to, we have a given of a maximum shear stress. We also are given a torque. We're supposed to find a minimum R. What do we know? We know that our shear stress, I'm gonna write this, shear stress as always equals our torque times our radius all over the polar moment of inertia of this section. And in this problem, we know our torque that's given here. We know our radius. And with our radius, we can calculate J. And this torque is what we're going to be calling our tau nominal in both of these equations here. But we're going to start with this one. So that's the tau nominal there. All right, so then using that green equation, so using the green equation, we know that tau nominal oh, times k, so we brought the tau nominal from the denominator and multiplied it by k equals tau max. And this tau max equals 8,000 PSI. So we know everything we need to know to calculate the shear nominal, and then we can calculate k and use the table to find r. So that's our plan. So we're going to calculate this tau nominal now. And we're going to use 4,400 pound inches. So that's our torque. Times, we're going to use the smaller diameter of 1.5 inches. And then since it needs to be a radius, we divide it by two. We divide all of that by the polar moment of inertia which is just pi over 32 times the diameter to the fourth, so that 1.5 to the fourth. And we get a nominal shear stress equal to 6,639.7 PSI. So now we can solve for K going back to that equation. So we can say K equals the maximum shear stress over the nominal shear stress. And that equals 8,000 PSI all over the value we just calculated of 6,639.7 PSI. 
And we get k equals 1.2. So then we go over to our table and we highlight 1.2. So that's the first thing we need to know. We also need to know our big D, oh, big D over little d equation, or what our big D over little d is, and then we'll know d, and then we can find this point. Okay, so here we go. All right, so there are two factors that influence, okay. And those are what we just talked about, big D over little d and R over little d. So we know, we know everything but R. So we can find that. So if we calculate what big D or little d is, big D is 3 inches and little d is 1.5 inches. So we have 3 inches over 1.5 inches and it equals two. So we're going to be on this red line here. Okay, so that's really all we need to know to then draw a line from our K of 1.2 over until we hit that red line it symbolizes big D over little d. And then we get an R over D of, we come down here, we're right about here. And we're going to say that that's about 0 0.238. So... What we did is we used the figure with k and d over d to find that r over little d is approximately equal to 0 0.238. We know little d, so now we can calculate r. So r equals 0 0.238 times little d, which equals 0 0.238 times 1.5 inches. And we get an R equal to 0 0.357 inches. And that is our final answer. Awesome.